net, 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 here. Oh, oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful size. Yeah. Boom. Oh, I'm moving for a power. Nice. Put that fat sonar. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to catch fish in bad weather when it's raining and it's windy and it's storming. Like and subscribe to our videos if you want to get more tips on how to catch just a tremendous amount of fish and just have a blast. Get this one through the ice. Oh yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Catfish right there. All right, like I said, in this video I'm gonna show you how to catch fish in bad weather. Gonna give you some fantastic tips on catching fish when it's raining and storming and blowing. And you can still catch fish in that, in that scenario. Now real quick, you know me, Josh Bendoski from BendoskiPowerFishing.com and home of the Bendoski Power Fishing subscription box. We put all the different lures that we use in this box so that you have easy, quick access to the lures that are catching thousands and thousands of fish. Now, in this uh, video, there's two uh, lures that come in the Mendoski Power Fishing Box that we use. We use this new trout e-chip, and I show you putting this one on. And then Mike was using this uh, crankbait that comes in the Mendoski Power Fishing Box. And uh, occasionally, we do call crankbaits Rapalas when we're just out fishing by ourselves, just because it's a habit. And, um, and uh, you know, it's like calling a Kleenex a tissue or a tissue at Kleenex, it's just that's the big brand name. And the Rapalas are fantastic, but the ones in this video were actually are the ones that we put in the box, and they're not, they're not brand Rapala, but I do like Rapalas. Um, anyway, so let's get into the rigging here. So I used, uh, I was trolling with a, my Daiwa D-Shock rod and reel combo, seven foot. Uh, I love this rod and reel combo, but I am actually getting uh, some new rod and reels that we're gonna start using from a new, new brand, a new company. Super excited about those, and I'll tell you all about them when they come. But I run 20 pound braid to a double uni knot. And if you don't know how to tie a line to line double uni knot, I'll put a video in the description here on how to tie that. And into a six pound or a six foot, eight pound test fluorocarbon leader, okay? And then uh, just to a, a little snap swivel up here. Now, like I mentioned, we were using the, uh, the trout, this new trout, it's called Trout Killer, electronic lure with e-chip. And from Troll Troll. And this comes in one of the Bendoski Power Fishing Boxes, but this is a great trolling lure. And then, uh, as I mentioned, the, uh, the crankbait that, we, that we, you see in the video here. So, the, here's the tips on how to catch fish in a, in a snowstorm, I mean in a, in a storm, okay? Um, and we, we went to two reservoirs. We went to a, a strawberry, and we also went to Deer Creek. And so there's, there's a couple of tips that I want to share with you. First, is check the barometer. The barometric pressure has more to do with fishing than probably just about any other single you know, thing is the, the pressure of the atmosphere. And so uh, when the pressure is high, and I'm gonna do a whole video on barometric pressure, but just as a tip in this video, when the pressure is high, the bite's gonna be slow. Fish have an air sac inside of them that helps control buoyancy. And when there's heavy pressure in the air, that's squeezing in that little air sac of theirs. And so they kind of have a tummy ache and they're not really interested in biting. So you know if the barometric pressure is high, it's not gonna be a really good day of fishing. You can still catch fish. And we, we, you know, we show tips on how to do that, but uh, you just know that it's not gonna be great fishing. And if the pressure is low, then it's gonna be a really great day of fishing, right? And so um, it's really hard to see that. I mean, you can't, humans, we, we can't really feel it that way. Unless somebody has arthritis or a bad knee, they can sometimes feel the atmospheric pressure. But in general, we can't. And I will say that the weather itself doesn't have anything to do with it. Visually, you can't tell. It could be a beautiful sunny day and it could be super high pressure. And it could be a beautiful sunny day and be super low pressure. Uh, so you always want to check the barometer. It's in your weather report. Um, and, and just so you know what you're getting into. So you can still go fishing if, the high pressure, if there's high pressure, but just know it's going to be a lot harder. And so if it's a storm and it's a stormy day outside, but you check the barometer and the barometer's low, well, you're still gonna have a pretty good chance of catching fish. So that's the first tip that I have for you is check the barometer every single time you go fishing. And the pressure can change, right? So you may have, in a day even, you may start in the morning with low pressure and then it ends up high pressure and that's why you're slamming them in the morning or maybe you 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 show up and you talk to a couple guys and they say oh we just caught 20 or 30 fish and and you know but the bite is totally off and sometimes as the pressure has changed it went from 
low to high, right? And so there's just a lot going on with the barometer, but just as a simple rule of thumb, high pressure means you know not the best fishing, you could even get skunked. Low pressure means it's gonna be okay. Second tip for catching fish in a storm is you want to be uh, trolling. Trolling is a, is a much more effective way to catch fish in a storm because you're covering so much water. You really do need to be moving through water very, 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 you know, you need to be trolling basically. You can still catch it from the shore, but it's hard because you're just in one spot and you don't know if the fish are there and it's stormy and stuff. So even if you had, um, you know, one of those little fish finders that floats, it's gonna be flopping all over the place. It's gonna be very hard to know if there's any fish around. Um, and even if you had a boat and you were out there and you just wanted to cast in the storm, you're still gonna have a much better chance of catching fish while you're trolling. So that's the second tip for you is to troll when, you're, when it's a storm. So if you're planning to go fishing in a storm, you, you wanna plan on you know, using a boat and trolling for sure. And then the last tip I have for you if, the, if you wanna go out and catch fish, you know, if you have a day plan for whatever reason and, and uh, you know, got some friends coming from out of town and you were planning on fishing on the 15th and they're here and either you're gonna fish on the 15th or you're not gonna fish at all, if you check the barometer and it's low, it's going to be great. But the other, the last tip I'll have for you is you definitely want to dress prepared. You want to dress for, you know, being cold, right? Because we were freezing to death. Um, you know, we were up at, in this video is Deer Creek, but we, we did two videos uh, fishing in bad weather just to, you know, just to show different areas that it can be done. But um, what we did is, you know, we were underprepared with our outfits, you know, it was so cold and being miserably cold doesn't make for a very long fishing trip, you know what I mean? And so uh, I should have taken my whole ice fishing outfit, you know, and just been over prepared and super warm, but I didn't, I, I just, you know, I, I put, you know, just some, you know, I still was bundled up, but not, I wasn't ready for it. And, and I was, and I suffered for that. For that. So, so if you're gonna go out and try and fish a storm, you just be prepared you know the when we were at strawberry the first place uh we got soaking wet because it was raining hard 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 and we just had rain um you know like uh water resistant coats you know you, i'm sure you're familiar with those and we f we got soaked we were freezing to death so when we went to deer creek in this video we just got we actually just got out of the dollar store just for one dollar a little rain slickers those plastic rain slickers and so that kept us more dry the water was going off of us but it was still freezing cold i mean i my shoes were soaking wet it was just miserable and i should have taken boots i mean there was a lot of things that i should have done and will do when if, if we when we go out to fish other storms but we wanted to go out there to show you that it can be done you can catch fish in a storm absolutely and so uh well, those are the three tips barometers huge um trolling you know if you're going to try and fish in a storm you want to be trolling you can you can try to fish from the shore but you're gonna have a much better chance if you're trolling. And then, you know, just dress prepared. Those are big, big things. And if you do those things, it's a good chance you catch fish in the middle of a rainstorm. And then you can show your buddies how, you know, how advanced you are because here you are catching fish when, you know, there's nobody else out there because it's a storm. So check out the video. Here we go. Okay, first fish of the day. Fish on. Fish on. Okay, where's that net? Net, 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 here. Yeah. Oh, he wants to pop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Woo! Rainbow! Oh, this is a coconut. Pretty sure. Hold on. I think. Oh, he got off. Wow, lucky we got him hooked. Okay. Oh, no, he's right here. Oh, well, I know. It could be a rainbow. I think he's a rainbow, actually. Mm -hmm. Now that I see him closer. Now, I mean, it's a lot silver, dude. Hey guys, look at that no, fish. Actually, yeah, it it's a rainbow, yeah. Nice fish though, let's measure it. Got us a uh, 17, 17. That's wild, dude. This dude ate a raw trout. Yeah. yeah, a wild man. I love you. Okay, Mike's got a fish on here. Let's get the net. Don't manhandle him too much. Make sure we can get him in. Wait, what do you got on, Mike? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is a good size, dude. Oh, beautiful size. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, I'm looking for a power. 
on the bright Rapala. Wow, look at this, guys. Video here. Whoa. Yeah! He's even bigger than the one we got. Go, right? Boom, guys, look at that. Nice fish. Okay, there you go. Dude! Okay, Mike just got another one. I might have to switch to Rapala. Hand me that net up there again. Yeah. Here, hand me that net. It's right behind you. Okay. Here, I'll get it. I'll just get it. Oh, oh my dude. Yeah, come here, buddy. That's a good size one, too. Oh, oh, yeah, he's a little guy, but he still looks nice. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, I caught that fish. He dude, fell off. He fell off, and I caught him. <laughs> Nice, dude. I'm gonna have to maybe switch, but I still caught a fish on my setup, so I might leave it for another second or two. You got the steering wheel? Yeah. Hey guys, I'm gonna switch to this trout killer with the e-chip. This is in. Uh, this comes in one of the Bendowski boxes, but uh, we've got two on something similar to this. A nice Rapala, but this got a lot of shake to it too. So I'm gonna throw this on there. Which one am I gonna take off? I just put a flash on that one. That's that big flasher. We'll leave that one. So I gotta take this one off. You want to put it on my pole? I do want to switch to this though. I'm going to look at that thing. Hey, just a hair. Okay, guys, got another fish here. Hold on, let's get this other line off. I'm a little tangled up here, but oh yeah. He's been jumping too. I hate to leave him out just like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sucks, but I gotta get this thing figured out. I hope he's still on there by the time I can reel him in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on a second. Yeah, he's still on there. Hold on. Just a second. Oh, uh, yeah. Free. We're a whole tangled mess out here. Hey. Yeah, here. You got it? Mike, you got to leave that on my... It's, it's hooked on my sleeve. Let me get this fish in and then we'll deal with that. Yeah, thank you. Well, mine's real dead. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, this is on that uh, sonar one, that cool sonar one that we put in the Vendosky built box now. Oh, I can see. Oh, he keeps jumping, too. Look at this. Slow down. Hey, just stop the boat. How many pulls are in the water? Mine. Just yours? And, and then hang on, Mike. You got to keep that right there while I reel this guy in. You're, I'm, I'm way hooked up on my sleeve, and I want to get the fish in the boat first. Ian, you want to do the net? Yeah. He's been jumping, so I don't want to lose him. I don't want to spook him. I'm just going to do it nice and easy, nice and slow. Oh! Nice rainbow. Gorgeous. Really pretty rainbow. Nice. This is on that trout sonar. Oh yeah, okay, here we go, nice another big rainbow dude, oh yeah, that's totally hooked up on me big time, yeah, dude. that's what I'm saying, just rip my jacket if you can't hear some fires, alright guys, let's see, beautiful rainbow right here, look at, oh fat one too, look at, oh fatty, Hit totally fat. In here, Ian, pull the chip my, my my thing down. Okay, guys, look at this nice, beautiful rainbow. Oh, and this trout sonar. <sighs> oh yeah, look at that nice color on that one. That's what I'm thinking. The other one's coconut because it's so silver compared to like this is a real rainbow, you know? Yeah. We'll have to check it, it out when we get over that there. That one was coconut, yeah, I think. I'm pretty sure. Me, right here. Okay. Okay, Mike's up. Where's the net? Let me get mine out. I want to redo my line anyway. Okay, Mike's got one. Still on? 
Sorry guys, the sacks are way up. My... All right, Mike. Big one. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, here he's coming up. He's coming up. Oh, a little silver guy. Oh, bring him closer, closer, closer. See under the boat? Pull him out a little bit if you can. Oh, you good? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Another nice little rainbow. Twice. He got hooked twice. On the Rapala. This guy. I'll let him calm down. I'll give you a real good shot of him, but. He got snagged. Look, he's not even hooked. He's hooked in the side of the face, in the side of the body. <laughs> Boo, yeah, dude. That's probably why he felt big. Here, yeah, that is why he felt big, because he could still swim with all of his. Um, Damn it, where are those fires? Capacities. At? Well, here. Look, guys. We'll do another dude, video. Awesome fabbies, man. Beautiful rainbow. That's why I'm thinking that one's a coconut, dude. I'm going to go look at it. Oh, actually, I gotta take my glove off to do that. I'm not sure that's a great idea. <laughs> so, there's that big rainbow, big rainbow. We're not getting in there. Their hands are too cold. Wow, Mike just got one pissed off too, jumping like crazy. Look at this, Mike. Hold in. Closer, 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 closer. Yeah, buddy. Look at a man, dude. Oh. Hey, look at this thing, dude. Dude, this is a big fish, bro. You wanna go back already? No, I don't wanna go back. <laughs> Here, hang on to him and wait for a second because uh, I haven't even had a chance to get my He's phone. way tangled up. You need to wait for him to calm down for a second. Look at this one through the ice. Oh yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Catfish right there. 